Hey there, Scorpio. I hope you guys are doing great. Um, this is a reading for July 2024. My apologies for being away. I've um, had some family issues and had to deal with that kind of stuff out of town. So I did that. Now I'm back. And um, <clears throat> I want to go ahead and get into this reading for you for the month of July 2024. Uh, the cards above here. This is the universal support energy, so the things that you may not see at this time, but are supported for you, or they're supportive of you doing. Um, so, and then the tarot is, is moving through. Um, anyways, you have abundance, no expectations, ace of wands, and shame in reverse. With this abundance energy, though, what this is showing me is that you are an attraction magnet. And that goes for every single person, no matter if you're vibing at a negative frequency or a positive frequency. Your, your energy is going to attract what comes into your life most. So if you're not liking what you're seeing, it's you're not a vibration to what you want. So I know that sounds super fucking annoying, but work on your frequency you know, lift your spirits, lift your energetic frequency for you to be an abundance magnet, okay? Um, and that's some of you just feeling good inside of yourselves. No expectations. It's having no expectations to the outcome, but also not getting in your own way when it comes to being open to opportunities that present themselves in your life, all right? Uh, not second-guessing them or like, you know, um, scrutinizing an opportunity to death because it, you don't understand how it could come into your life. You don't see how it could be there, but like suddenly it's there. Like don't overanalyze something to the point where you can't accept it into your life. Cause sometimes things just show up because we are a gravitational an energetic magnet. <clears throat> um, you have the ace of wands as the supported energy by the universe. This is support in regard to <clears throat> energy coming from out of nowhere opportunities for creativity and joy and things that are in alignment with what you want in your life your desires your directives like all of that things popping up out of nowhere you're not expecting to see these things but they're going to be popping up it is an abundance that the universe is sharing with you Okay, so be available to the opportunities popping up. There's going to be a lot of them and a lot of energy this month is going to be present for you as well. Shame in reverse. We're letting go of shame. Situations that get in our way. Things that don't allow opportunities into our life because we're heavily scrutinizing them to make sure it's all working accordingly. Like, just let it go. Just allow. Okay. Um, this can also talk about no longer being shameful of going after your passions, going after the things that you take pride in, prioritizing the adventures that you want to go on, prioritizing the situations that you want your life to experience, different types of relationships, different types of endeavors, situations of creativity that people don't understand, but you want to be part of, like do it. Don't be shameful of that. Don't hold it in. <laughs> Your energy to embody this month, we have the hangman in reverse. This is an interesting energy because it says you've done the work to look at situations for what they are and how you affect them, you know, how they affect you. It's having taken a pause and now we're integrating. So this is a good situation. And, and if you need to take a pause on something, do so but don't stay there forever. It's saying keep the flow happening because you're going to be in a lot of flow this month here, Scorpio. And I feel that you guys are going to be um, kind of receiving a lot from a lot of angles. And so just be open to that change, but try not to pull back too much. You know, if you need to think something over, great, but don't stagnate. Okay. Um, here, the, the hangman in reverse, it's talking about re-emerging. It's talking about being open to things. It's talking about having seen something from all angles and now we make the best decision. Okay. Um, with the communication from the community, your community communications within that community, 
Yeah, the Seven of Pentacles. This is an energy of assessment. It's where maybe we are dealing with certain people in our lives, or maybe we're communicating to certain people that, hey, I've been doing this situation like this for a real long time and it's not changing, or I feel like I'm doing this and nothing, I'm receiving nothing in return. How can we fix this? Or how can I redirect my energy because I feel like I'm kind of like giving to something that isn't giving back to me? That may be the type of communication that you have to have at some point during this month with someone in your life. It's it's a card of exhaustion, you know, because it's like you've tried all of the out the, the opportunities you've tried, or I'm sorry. You've tried the alternatives in how you can continue to give to something. But the truth of the matter is that something is just not giving back to you in the same way you do to it. So how can that be rectified or how can that be put to bed, right? If people are taking advantage of you, pull your energy back. You know, if you're over giving to situations that are not giving back in the same way, pull your energy back. Your health energy, you have the Ace of Wands, it's under the Ace of Wands. So this is beautiful health energy. This is endless energy. It's feeling like you are spry, you're ready to engage with situations. It's having a lot of mental clarity and the fortitude to uh, explore and take opportunities to the next level. Um, for some of you, um, this is a clean bill of health, feeling rejuvenated even, Um very, very good energy when it comes to health. Um, some of you, this is sexual health as well. So your sexual health may be improving here in the month of July with a partnership. Um, you know, we're, we're no longer in shame or we're allowing ourselves to be loved, warts and all, you know, that can, that can actually mean a lot. Like Scorpios are pretty, you know, they'll withhold you know, but sometimes they withhold themselves because they're ashamed of their body or they're ashamed of something about themselves that they don't, it's almost like they feel irreconcilable and that's not the case for your partner. So just be mindful about how much you, how much emphasis you put on a situation that maybe isn't even seen that way by your partner or by people you're involving yourself with. Um... This talks about virility. This talks about a lot of sex potentially as well. Okay. Um, with your job situations, you have the Ten of Cups. This is great. This talks about being supported emotionally, or at least the situation that you work in, the job that you work in, the career the field that you're in. It supports you emotionally. You feel like you're doing the right thing. You feel like you're part of the right crew of people. You have harmony within your connections here, Scorpio. Uh, very well supported. Um, this is also being in positions that um, not only support you, but like they're, they're inclusive of family. You know, it's like having a work-life relationship that is actually healthy and balanced, doing things that you love with people that you love. It's very unique here. Um, a lot of emotional support here with this job. And if that's not it, this can also talk about, uh, situations where this will afford you time with your family, time with your loved ones, time with the people who are closest with you. Maybe you're going on a vacation. Maybe you are just putting aside time to just go on a little day trip excursion to do something fun with the people closest to you in your life, family, children, whatever it is. Um, either way, though, high harmony in your job sector this month, okay? And then when we come to love, we have the Ace of Cups. So I will say, some of you, like, if you're already in relationships that are established, I feel there's a situation here where you're kind of, like, opening or mm, lowering your guard when it comes to how you feel about yourself, where you've been a little bit vigilant, you know, hyper vigilant. And maybe allowing your partner to see deeper sides of you, the sides that are, you know, a little bit roughed up, the sides that are painful, the sides that need love, but because you're uncomfortable with them, you don't let the other person see. It's asking for you to be open and available. And some of you, that is going to come through sexual union with this person. It's just like saying, fuck it. I don't care. We're going to just like, mm. 
and it's it's a very it's almost like tantric sex it's almost it's very intentional sexual connection it's not just bump and fuzzies it's very intentional like merging purging um <laughs> like union connecting like deepening things in a very very healthy but very passionate way um that's a form of therapy in itself for those of you who are not partnered this is saying you are opening yourself up to new opportunities. Some of you are being available to date. Some of you are finding a person through your family or your group of family friends. Um, this energy, though, is asking for you to be open. It's asking for you to feel good about the position that you're in right now. And if you don't, then, then you know, try to. Try to feel good about where you're at in your life right now, especially if you're trying to uh, be available to love. Um I think that the importance to to not put expectations on something will keep you in awe of what is being presented to you. Um, I feel that there's new opportunities, new potentials for love. Even at the bottom of this deck, and look at that, even at the bottom of this deck, there's the fool. Okay, so the fool indicates an opportunity coming in um, that is new that is asking for you to be present for it. Some of you, this may be a connection where there is a lot of physical connection first. That doesn't mean it's going to fall apart. But this also does ask if you have a sexual connection that happens before like a foundation is built. It's asking for you both or you at least to address what you truly need, your boundaries, and also ask that of this new person. So it's fair, it's equal. That at least gives you some foundation to build upon. And if it's just for sex, then it's just for sex. But I feel that there's some potential love coming in here with it, or at least you'll have a deeper understanding of, oh, oh, I got feelings. Oh, oh, this is very passionate. Oh, this could go a lot of different directions. How do I approach this with with awe, with wonderment, with with reverence here to be available to what it can be. You know, sex is great, but like, how can that... It's, it's almost as if what I'm feeling here, Scorpio, is like a bonding of people in a very, very quick way that solidifies something very quickly, um, which is more so the reason to have a certain level of boundaries that we are establishing before things become nebulous and confusing. Okay, so this is what I have for you guys. I hope that this reading is helpful. Feel free to like, share, subscribe. Liking the video does help my channel grow, and I appreciate it a lot. And thank you for your donation. Thank you for contacting me for personal readings. And yeah, I love you guys. Take care. Bye.